On this episode of It's Me or the Dog, Victoria meets the Berries, a recently blended family that isn't mixing so well. With six people caring for nine dogs, everything is a battle. When two multi-dog families come together, there is huge potential for conflict. Without a solid plan in place, the consequences could be disastrous. It's pandemonium living in a house with nine dogs and six people. Um, presently, we have my original three dogs, all miniature dachshunds, Oscar, Fatty, and Cuckoo Bird. Cuckoo Bird has just given birth to three puppies. My daughter, Kim, rescued a cocker spaniel named Toby. Rosie, she and her son moved in. They brought their two dogs, Sammy and Pippi. And my older daughter, Lizzie, and Kim's boyfriend, Rob, is staying with us. We all love the dogs, and we want what's best for the dogs, but we have different opinions on how to take care of them. Tell me everything that's going on. So there's a lot of chaos in our house. Big we have a lot household. of people. His dogs, my dogs, her dogs. Cuckoo's dogs. Yes, everybody. What? We have three newborn puppies. They're about four weeks old now. So you've added more dogs. We have nine dogs all together. The dachshunds aren't fixed, so the predictable thing happened, and we now have the three new puppies. And those three puppies are, are up for adoption, and Toby is here temporarily. Kim rescued him. Oh, I see. So you're trying to find Toby a home. Um, maybe. Very quickly, Victoria gets the idea of how caring for nine dogs has torn the family apart. My dogs were so well behaved before, and they've picked up a lot of bad habits from Eric's naughty dogs. Certainly, Rosie could spend more time disciplining her dogs and less time blaming my dogs for their behavior. Our house has never been quite as messy and smelly until Rosie and her dogs moved in here. I don't feel like I have a voice at all when it comes to the dogs. If I try to discipline them, Kim gets mad at me. I definitely think Kim's idea to bring Toby in the house was a bad one. We already had more than enough dogs. Now she wants to sit down and set them right. What I see from my observation day to day is that everybody seems to be blaming and pointing the fingers at everybody else. Yet no one seems to be holding themselves accountable. So where do you stand on Toby's future adoption? Are you going to rehome him or not? It might have to be an option that I'll have to deal with because I'll be going away to college and I won't be able to take care of him. So I, I might want to do it earlier on. You've answered the question then. As soon as you can, you find a good home for this dog. And I think it'll be much, much better in a place that can give him a bit more time and attention. So um, where do we go from here? That's the thing, because we're doing this for the dogs. We have a lot of work ahead of us, and there needs to be a coming together. Are you willing to work on this? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> OK, no matter what. The first step to ending the bickering is to put the entire family on a schedule. All right, here is the schedule you've been waiting for. This is it. Victoria wants the family to decide who will take over each responsibility and when. A huge issue in this house is that people just don't talk to each other. So getting them to work on the schedule meant that they were actually communicating. What time does Rob get back? He'll be okay. here at 4.30. So he can do the 5.30 toilet after the feeding and he's gonna have to like it. I don't want the family to say they're going to do something and then they don't do it. It's very easy to talk the talk, but you've got to walk the walk as well. I want you to be on the same page. Perfect. It's going to help these dogs immeasurably. Mm -hmm. And you. I am really worried about how it's going to be to adjust to the new schedule and everything, but hopefully it'll work out in the better for everyone. Great. On to the next thing. For so long, you as a family have not worked together, and as a result, your dogs have suffered. What I want to teach you is a very simple command. It's a wait and come command. I want to show you first of all with Fatty here. Now watch. Wait. Good girl. Wait. Come. Good girl. Good. What a student. So, I am going to get you, Rob. <laughs> get up here. OK, 
Okay. There. No, what did I use? Wait. Good oh. girl. Wait. Come here. Good girl, Fanny. How beautiful. How good was that? <laughs> The first person that Victoria chose good to work girl. with Fatty was Rob. I hadn't seen him train a dog before, and it was really interesting. He, he did a good job. So I want to give you a challenge where you are going to help each other, you're going to work together, and I would love, when I come back, to see the whole family lined up, one end of the room, all the dogs lined up the other end of the room, waiting, and then when you say come, the dog comes to the person that has been working with it. The group challenge I set the family is not really about obedience training, it's to see if they can work together. Later in the week, Victoria gets an update on the Berry's progress. It will be really interesting to see how the Berry family are getting on without me. Ask you. Ask her. Today, the family is ready to attempt the big challenge Victoria has set for them. Ready, let's start. They're all wait. sitting down. Let's get wait. up. Okay, and we're gonna synchronize our, us saying, wait. wait, ready? One, two, watch me. Three. Wait. 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 Sit. Wait. 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 Ready? One, two, three, come. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Now you're getting it. For the first time, I'm seeing you really communicate and work together. That is a great job. I'm about to put an ad up on the internet for Toby, for someone to adopt him, and I'm really excited um, that he can potentially find his forever home. Well done, Kim. I'm glad you are taking the first steps to finding Toby his forever home, and it's going to be for the best. But another issue has come up during Victoria's absence. I see now Jimmy, all Jimmy, the Jimmy, male dogs are into Fatty. Fatty had come into heat. She hasn't been spayed. And so the male dogs were extremely interested in her. When are you going to... Enough! Oscar. And you see, this is why I really think you need your dog spayed. I don't think he gets the fact that there are millions and millions and millions of dogs languishing in shelters. I think Eric needs to go to one of these municipal shelters and he needs to witness 10 or 15 euthanasias a day because that's the reality and that's what he's perpetuating when he's breeding these dogs. And you need to get Toby neutered because it, this is just going to cause angst, it's going to cause stress, it's going to cause fights, it's going to be, you know, competition. And it's just not fair on the dogs. Victoria seemed to feel very strongly about spaying and neutering the dogs. I'm definitely going to get the female dog spayed. It's time for me to leave the family. They have worked hard, but if all of the dogs are going to be successful, everybody has to do their part. So I'm going to leave you now, but I know that if you keep working on communicating, you're going to be extremely successful. I think that Victoria had a really calming um, influence on not only the dogs, but the whole family. I'm really sad to see Victoria go. She was so helpful, and she brought our family together. And Johnny, you keep your eye on them, and you make sure they behave, OK? OK. OK, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. I really hope that my time with the Berries has made them come together and work together more and see if they do work together, then great things can be achieved. Bye. 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 It's been fantastic. It was a great experience, and uh, the lessons will live on long after Victoria has moved on to the next family. I finally found a forever home for Toby, and it was really hard, but I'm glad that he has someone to pay a lot more attention to him now. <laughs> I'm taking Fatty and Cuckoo down to the local vet to have a consultation about having them spayed. There will be no new dogs around here. I'm so glad to see that Eric has taken the first step in getting Cuckoo and Fatty spayed because it really is the most responsible thing to do. Since I've been gone, the Berry family have stuck to the training and are finally working in harmony. That is making their lives and the lives of their dogs much easier.